Chinese government. And the Burmese military is buying into that and allowing this form of neo-colonialism to take place. Can the Burmese people, the people of B Myanmar, every ethnic group, ever get a break? It is pathetic that this still has to be going on. You know, um, it's 2021. It's time for the East and, and the West to not exploit Burma or its generals. The generals who are killing their own people to retain a power struggle, struggle that mimics years earlier. And I want to speak to you from someone who was born here in America, where the government is for the people and by the people with all its faults and successes. I feel lucky I was born here to be schooled in my rights. Through the years, too, we have found that we must fight to keep our freedom of speech and dignity. Otherwise, that can be lost in a heartbeat. But nobody knows that more than the people of Burma. In the next 10 years, perhaps America won't have the economic tenure it once had in the world. But what we can offer is the export of our knowledge based around human rights, the knowledge of freedom of speech, the knowledge around fair labor law practices, freedom of internet, and that hopefully our international corporations can live by a better example than Chinese corporations. We are an example of a country where speaking your truth will not get you killed, no matter how right or wrong your view may be. So right now, I, as an American, I am exporting my rights for the people of Burma. To quote Aung San Suu Kyi, use your liberty to promote ours, and that's what I am doing. Burma deserves the same rights, so I use my liberty to promote rights for you and my family and my friends in Burma. I come to support you as a supporter of the Burmese people, not a supporter of neo-colonialism in any form, Eastern or Western, or a supporter of a military dictatorship. I speak to you as a person who supports the people of Burma's right to self-determination as an ind independent democratic country with human rights and free speech. Myanmar has a difficult history, and they deserve the democratic government that was elected by their own people. No, you, you, shape you, not something installed by somebody I else. Shape democracy you, no. in Burma may not look like democracy in America, and nor should it, for it's Asian and has its own unique long history and rich cultures of diverse people. Puppeting an idea is not an intelligent design, nor does it produce realistic outcomes. But democratic human rights should prevail, for they are beyond governments, corporate and economic prosperity and greed, livable wages and no exploitation by foreign companies, or exploitation by its own military that kills its own people and other institutions. These are basic democratic human rights and are part of the human condition, for the people of Burma are not automatons or robots. The UN is a great institution. It should be admired for its promotion of the rights of women and children, for providing food and medical services in places that are ravished by war and disaster. But what it seems it is no longer very good at is prevention of human rights abuses and conflict. Prevention is key. Yes. Let the UN Security Council take bold action in this area of prevention. In this day and age, the world is hopefully wiser than it would, it, than it was. It would be a disgrace to let another Khmer Rouge like Cambodia happen in 2021. And right now, it seems that what is happening in Burma is almost mimicking a beginning of what could look like that if the international community and the UN don't step up. Uh, oh. We don't need a genocide and it's starting to fall into that direction. The Burmese military has blood on its hands, but so does the Chinese Communist Party's business interests, and also Russia, <laughs> who are members of the UN Security Council. Sell out! Sell your soul! This is what Min On Lang is doing right now, especially in accordance with the big elephant in the room, the Chinese pipeline.
In America, many concerned citizens who feel for the people of Burma, they don't know too much about this or they avoid this topic. Yes. It is a huge, that pipeline is a huge enabler of what is happening right now. If a huge country like China can suppress the rights of people in Myanmar because they can't have them, it's out of exploited jealousy and greed Come to on. feed a materialistic <laughs> machine. <laughs> According to the World Bank, the Myanmar economy would drop by 10% in 2021. <laughs> For a country that lives at such poverty-stricken levels, that is going to have a huge effect on the people. But unfortunately, it won't have a huge effect on the generals. Remember, they said they have survived sanctions in the past, and they are prepared for it again. Unless something is drastically done by foreign enablers who have been supporting this coup through silenced omission, this economic cla collapse will Can only hurt the Java, people. Please. We have seen this in the past. There is a huge Chinese oil pipeline that will feed the hunters elite. Yes. Investment in a country is a good thing. If the foreign investment doesn't come with the infringement on the country's democratic rights, what we are here seeing here is an accomplice to the infringement of rights, and this is because of huge foreign invest investment by a communist neighbor. It will be difficult to push ahead unless the Burmese military and Beijing find it in their hearts to let the Burmese country have what they don't, freedom of speech. Burma is a separate nation, only a neighbor not something to be used, abused, or exploited. Yes! I have friends who are Chinese Burmese who have been in Myanmar for decades. Many whose families came to Bur Burma for freedoms that they were not offered under Mao's government. They were not rich, nor were most any of them better off than the local Burmese. Right. Today we see something different. We see investment that's coming from the Chinese Communist government. Oh. And with that comes suppression of human rights, free speech, and internet privileges. Right. And also the factories in Langdire. I actually lived in Langdire. It's a, not a great neighborhood. And let me tell you, the reason they're there is because they can exploit that poverty. I don't care if it's an Eastern or Western clothes making company, whatever. They can get cheap labor and treat people like crap. Right. And nobody's going to know about it because half the taxi drivers in Yangon won't even drive there. So finally, shame on the 14 members of my country, the United States House of Representatives in the United States, who voted against condemning the military coup. Ooh, I question no. those people. Absolutely. Where, where do their allegiances lie? Who's padding their pocketbooks? You're a bunch of cowards. Absolutely. And you know what? I'm not going to get killed for saying that. That's the nice thing about it. Not in America. Not in America. So under a democratic style government, people of all sexualities, religions, no religion, the ability to disagree with your government's leaders without retaliation, the right to privacy, a culture of consent, that is a human right. Outsiders may come in with money, they may come in with knowing things. They have knowledge, but those aren't virtues. Money and knowledge can be exploited when used Shepi without Java, virtue. Shepi and I'm almost Java. done. We have seen the land tire quarters where Chinese factories were burned, the terrible conditions that the Burmese people living in land tire worked under were being exploited by the Burmese government and the Chinese uh, government corporations. But what I want to say is those corporations I know were locking their people in those factories so they could not protest for their rights. You're right. That's an example of the suppression that will happen if Beijing continues to be a minder of the Burmese military. And yeah. they are in bed together. All right. So let's remember the seven-year-old girl that was recently killed, all the children killed. And I come to you as someone who uh, supports democratic reforms in the country that doesn't support that military dictatorship or neo-colonialism in any form. The Burmese people decide their rights. You're right! Yeah. Thank you, Bethany! Thank you!
Hello everyone, it's an honor to be here and able to talk about what's happening in Myanmar. I grew up in Myanmar, but I felt responsible and felt that it's very important for me to speak up about this issue or lead the way that so that the next generation won't be Shabby Java, please. That's happening in Myanmar right now. Okay. And so soon as the generation be like me. Yeah, see, I'm telling them all. We can now say something. Oh, I'm We can now say something if it's a better future for the next generation. We need to speak up about the women. Many people have sacrificed their life for. Shabby Java, cool drama, yeah, man. Don't turn by. We have to do everything we can to show our support for them. Many lives are lost already. Today, March 27, Revolution Day was originally called on Force Day. But this year, we refuse to celebrate the military Judah terrorists who has killed unarmed civilians, civilians without showing any remorse. Let's reclaim this day as Revolution Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Center for Democracy. Our future belongs to freedom, not free, not fear. Thank you. Chết đấy hơn đấy Bà ta ngó xíu làm tìm 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 Ô, bà ngó xíu ta có yêu để làm gì hết Ta mới chói ra bọn Tame chaya wala, hey, David, turn turn, tame chaya wala. Oh, malo ya de, sa ni bi ten lo.
มาสอดดิวเด้อเชฟบีจ้าบ้าพลีสจะให้เปียกอะไรมาลาบินอปมาสิตาคุยอยู่ดีทำใจเอาเหรอทำใจบาลาเอใจเอาบ้างอะเฮียยา
Something's wrong with the system. Okay. ကျွန်တော်တို့အတမထွက်ပဲနဲ့အဲ့ဒီပချင်းထူပြီးတော့ကုန်လက်ဖြစ်ကိုကျွန်တော်တို့စုတောင်းပွဲရမှာဖြစ
sun Singing songs of freedom like Machibu Kaba Machibu And it seems to me You live your life Like a candle in the wind Never knowing who to cling to when the rain set in. And your footsteps will always fall here alone. You know, your candle burned down long before. And you never did. One day, when the glory comes. It will be ours, it will be ours, one day, one day, Ajirabo! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, me! Ajirabo! Oh, yeah, me! Ajirabo! Oh, yeah, me! Oh, yeah, me! Ajirabo! Oh, yeah, me! Oh, yeah, me! The boy, the boy! Mo, oh, oh, mo! The boy, the boy! Mo, oh, mo! Oh. Oh. Chachi Mo, 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 mo,
ကျွန်တော်တို့ဒီနေ့ကျွန်တော်တို့ကကြီးမဲမလက်ထီရီဗလူရှင်ဒေးဆိုပြီးတက်မပြီးတော့မိတ်ထားစစ်တက်ကိ
ဒီအာဏာယူမရောင်နိုင်ဥစ္စာအောင်နဲ့ဒီအာဏာယူစစ်တပ်ဖွဲ့ဟာဒီသူတွေရကောက်တင်မြောက်ထားတဲ့
ဒီမဟုတ်တဲ့သတိနေဟိုတဲ့ချမ်းရှိခဲ့တယ်ဒါပြင်တီယမာပိုမာပိုမာစစ်တက်ကသူတို့ကမစစ်တက်ကသည်
ကိုနောက်ဆောင်းအနေနဲ့ငါတော့ရာတီဥတူဟာလေကောင်းလာတယ်ဆိုတော့မအေးတော့ဘာဘူးနော်အဲ့ဒါကြောင့်ငါတော